Hello, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the summer event, the very hard boss, because it is actually very, very hard. So let me show you guys what exactly I'm talking about. So after you've cleared all of the normal stages, about 15 of them, you finish the normal boss, then you go over to the hard boss and then you kill the hard boss. And then we've got the very hard boss. This guy is actually incredibly hard to beat. I don't know about you guys who have started late or at like not max level, but this guy is like, even at max level, I've been timelining for so long and this guy is so hard to beat. With that being said, I'm going to hop back over to the spreadsheet. And as you can see, this is a compilation of like a whole bunch of different comps on how to beat this very hard boss. So before I talk about this, massive credits to whoever put this together because like I don't know who actually did. I just found this in one of the guild discords and so like massive credits to them. I didn't pull this together, they did. So if you're going to thank anyone, thank this guy. All right, with that being said, I want to go through the spreadsheet itself because there are a couple of things that are a little bit like I'd like to correct. And the first thing is this thing over here. As you can see, old mate Wee Wee Chu has translated this one turn kill kind of timeline. Originally, some people were saying it would take about 30 minutes to two hours to actually get the RNG necessary to like pull this off. I'm going to say it's absolutely not worth it. If you guys can two turn it, just two turn it. Honestly, I'm having a little bit of trouble like trying to two turn. It is just extremely unachievable, borderline impossible. I really wouldn't bank on like trying to pull this off every day. All right, with that being said, then what exactly should we do? So if I come down, there are a couple of videos here that are one turn kills. However, again, I probably would not do this. I'd probably direct your attention to over here and the ones down here. Up here, we've got a bunch of videos. So from Billy Billy, and hopefully you can two turn it with something like this. Otherwise, we have additional videos down here in which you can three turn the boss. At this point, you're going to be asking, Papa Lace, is it worth actually three turning the boss? And my answer, my little senoritas, is yes. If you can three turn the boss, I definitely would recommend three turning it. However, if you need more than three, even four turns, don't do it. Clear it maybe once if you want, but like then grind out the rest of your boss tickets onto the hard boss. It's just not worth it at that point after you calculate like the stamina efficiencies. All right, with that being said, there are more videos down here, other casual two phase videos. Some of these are full autos. I haven't tested all of them, but I've only managed to get a couple of them to work. To be honest, like some of them are bait. And again, no shade to the creator of this sheet. They did God's work. They compiled all of this. I think it's just because we have some differences with CN right now. The last thing I wanted to say is that you can combine any of these on the left-hand side with the right-hand side ones, because obviously this is to deal with the phase two, which is a boss in rage. Essentially, we are doing clan battle again, but solo. All right, guys, I'm going to show you one and I'm going to show you guys this one. And the reason is because it has the massive full auto tag on it. So let's go get it. <laughs> All right. So here we've got the comp and we are about to go in. So I'm going to just slam this begin button and slam auto. And hopefully it's going to work its magic. It's going to do exactly what it said. So the key thing about this fight and of all boss fights, it's that you're actually able to soft reset these ones. And what I mean by that is that if you don't get the run you want, so for example, if you're not able to push the boss into enrage, you can actually just close the app and then go again. It won't consume any boss tickets. It won't consume anything and you can just do it over and over and over. All right, I'm gonna skip through this and let's see how this one goes. Okay guys, so for some reason, my OBS actually stuffed up and as you can see, my run went through. I also actually did a couple of runs after that. So I just wanna give a quick recap on what was lost and then actually go again. So what actually happened was that I was able to do all of this damage using uh, this comp looking like, let me see, it was a uh, Tamaki and it was a Kokoro as well. So this is the comp that I used to lower it down to exactly 40% HP. So what I tested after was I tested two comps. As I just mentioned, this boss goes on to enrage when it gets to 40%. So because it's enraged, I need to switch team comps. So what I tried was two comps. What happened was that the Tamaki one didn't succeed, but the Hiyori one succeeded. However, this comp is not on full auto. There was a period of time where I had to spam the Makoto and the Hiyori UB. So I'm actually going to show you that now, except I'm not going to complete the run so that I can keep running this. Oh my God, I'm actually so frustrated. Holy crap. Uh, it's the first time that's happened for me, guys. I'm so sorry. But okay, so there's the enrage animation. And then what's going to happen is that I'm going to get to about 113-ish. And then Makoto and Hiyori are going to be able to UB. However, they're not going to UB before the boss UBs. That is if you're only completely running on auto. So what I really suggest is that if you can do this, you got to spam the Makoto and spam the Hiyori. Okay, so I'm going to get to around there. And then it's going to... Oh my god, it stunned both my units. And then after the Kari UB, Kari's going to UB first. And then I'm going to spam the hell out of Makoto. Oh my god. Okay, this run is screwed. This run, I, I can't do it. And the reason is because you need to RNG that stun over there. You need to be able to get Makoto and Hiyori's UBs off before the boss UBs you. And the reason is because all of that damage that you just took, it just did not convert into TP since your TP was full. I'm going to restart this run and I will see you guys very, very soon. Okay, guys, we are back. And so I'm going to try this again and hopefully we'll get better RNG. Eventually, if we don't get good enough RNG, I'm just going to like record by myself until I find a good one. 
So again, in rage, and then hopefully at about like 1.13 ish, we won't have both of them stunned and we'll be able to get both our Hiyori and our Makoto Zubis off because if I can't, it's freaking GG. Okay, it's here that I really need to get it. And you see, we actually got it. Obviously, it'd be more ideal if I got my Makoto off first, but I think it's actually might be at like the maximum defense down. And so this is exactly what I'm talking about. All of that TP was lost before. I'm going to keep autoing. However, I might have to spam Makoto and Hyori again. And I'll explain why these two are so effective at this uh, right after this video. It's just assuming that it works like because oh my God, please work. My Makoto got stunned. My Makoto got stunned. So. Okay, so Hiro is going to go off and then Kari should be able to finish it off. So it looks like the second stun, as long as the, um, as long as only one of them got stunned, I reckon that it would be enough to finish this boss off. It's very, very frustrating. I know it's dependent on RNG, but this is way, way better than trying to one turn the boss. One turning the boss, I tried for like half an hour. I could not get a single successful one. Okay, guys, with that being said, I'm just going to release this because this is like absolutely painful. This is, this boss has been such a pain. And as you can see, a red box dropped and that red box is going to contain the guaranteed summer cockroach shard. Guys, I am so tilted, but like between my video failing and like this boss, this ain't it guys, this ain't it. All right, I'm gonna hit next and let's go have a look. And we got the cockroach shard. So this is really great because it guarantees you about like, I think it was about 18 or 20 of these shards. And then there is actually something else that I do want to talk about next, which is really important because it actually relates to the, um, what is it called? The structure, the price structure. I'm going to skip through this and I will meet you guys at the rolling prize gacha thing. Okay, guys, as you can see, I am at the metal gacha now. I'm just going to hit that. And the first thing I want to talk about, actually, the main thing I want to talk about is that the lineups, they have actually changed a fair bit. What we have is the Saren shards as well as a total of 430 here. When we go to lineup two, you see we get 25 Kokoro shards. However, it is 552 of the normal rewards. Three, same, same Saren, but it goes to 689. And guys, I know I'm reading numbers, but it's going to build up to something. I, I promise. Lineup four. Four, we have 806 in the normal rewards, but line up five, what happens is that it goes down to 226. However, what you do need to notice is that there are no divine amulets here and there are no crystals here. In the absence of these two, what we have is summer Kokoro shards. So what I'm really trying to say is that you see all of these rolls here and here and here, these rolls could contribute rather to the 226 netting you more summer Kokoro shards. So then there is a decision to be made here. There are two real main things that you need to think about. Actually, there is really only one main thing is just that there are two possibilities. One is that you're going for Summer Kokoro 4. If you are going for Summer Kokoro 4, then I would recommend that you actually reset as soon as you get each of these shards. In total, you get about like a hundred divine amulets as well as like a couple of hundred of jewels. However, all of those combined is still not enough to make up for these Kokoro shards because if you are going for like Kokoro 4 or Kokoro 5 or whatever, the DA cost is going to go to like three or four or five. And as you can imagine, you cannot get too many Summer Kokoro shards. And so it's for that reason that if if you are going for a high start summer cocker, I would recommend actually like pushing through these boxes, resetting ASAP and then going for this one and then just resetting this one over and over. Okay, so then what is the other option? The other option is to actually just full clear and go for the jewels and the divine amulets. For most people, this is probably what I would recommend because like even if you get all of these cocker shards, you might be like, for example, maybe like 60 or 70 away from like four star summer cocker. At that point, like I would really argue that three star summer cocker is enough and you don't need to go the extra mile. And so for the general population and probably me also I would say clear all of the boxes one to four however I did want to show you guys that the option is there if you guys are going for a high star summer cockroach okay on the other hand what we also have is like these jewels and divine ammo so I just wanted to remind you guys for example of this total 806 if you've rolled a whole bunch of times you've rolled like down to 400 and there was only one of these like 25 jewels left and there was no divine amulets left like you really luck sacked it and I would really highly recommend that you just move on because like 400 rolls into this just to get that one times 25 jewels is not worth it. I personally think that the summer cockroach shards in here are worth more than like 25 jewels, but to each their own. So what I'm really trying to say is that if like you've cleared out most of the jewels and divine amulets in like a fast amount of these, then just move on, right? Like, so for example, if in this one, like you cleared out all 10 of them and you're down to like 200 out of 552 left and divine amulets, you had only five left, then I would definitely move on from that. I would go straight into lineup three. But again, just refer back to the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna switch to that right now and show you guys exactly what I did again. So I went 
with this comp over here. This comp was able to push me into 60% and then I went with this comp after that down here. I personally found that it was more reliable, but however, with the stuns, there is a little bit of RNG involved. And remember that you can reset so you can go chase that RNG. All right, guys, with that being said, I think that's kind of it. I would really highly recommend like trying each of these because I know that these ones are like really hard to pull off, especially look at that. It's a freaking five-star Kari and then a three-star Hiyori over here as well. Like guys, I would really recommend at least trying to clear it. Even if you can three-turn it, I would definitely recommend three-turning it. That guaranteed summer cockroach shard just makes three-turning it like so worth. There are so many team comps here. Just click on these video links and give it a shot. And just a quick reminder that you can only do this once a day. So go get it, my boys. All right, guys, I think that was quite a painful video. Hopefully you guys got like something out of it. And with that being said, I am going to wrap up the video here. Final shout out to the person who made this. I'm so sorry that I don't know who it is. But yeah, thank you so much for pulling this together. And again, just to address this one turn kill one, I believe when this timeline was made, it was actually made for level 100 units, which we actually don't have yet. I think that's the case. And so therefore, I think we are slightly desynced with CN. I'm going to drop all of this in the description below so you guys can go get it. All right, guys, I think that's kind of it. Let's wrap up this video. This was a really, really freaking painful video. I got a secret message and it's that VH is pain. VH is so pain, man. He actually just like curb stomps my team. It's so crazy. If you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really, really appreciate it. It lets me know that you've made it to the end of the video and I know that it's been a rough one. So thank you. Thank you guys so much. And with that being said, you guys already know what comes next. If this video was kind of helpful or entertaining, then consider a like, a sub, a comment, a sub. That, wait, did I say that? But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck with this very hard boss because it's so painful. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.